Hey folks, Robin Clayton here with another episode of Zodi C at the Farm. It's so glad to have you uh, here with me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'm going to be working on this beautiful piece. I'm going to call it the Magnificent Pinkalicious Flower because I just think, think it's so um, descriptive of how I how I feel about this beautiful piece because I absolutely think it's amazing. So I hope you'll stay with me because I'm going to show you all the steps from A to Z on how to create this beautiful piece of art. Okay, see you soon. Hey folks, okay, let's move through a list of items that you're gonna need to complete this project. And I wanna let all of you know that uh, not only will I give you the list of items here, but they will also be in the description box below. Okay, so no need to take notes. Everything is uh, finally laid out for you uh, in the description box below. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so you're gonna, first off, you're gonna need to have your plates completely preset, ready to go. Uh, to go ahead and start this project. You're also going to need a either a cordless drill uh, with a Milwaukee uh, diamond tip drill bit or you can use a drill press if you have one available. All right, but that's what you're going to need. You're going to need a measuring tape all right, to measure your plates. You're gonna need some type of, of hook to mount this if you're gonna be using it in an external way or outside. Uh, a lot of people I know like to just sit their beautiful plates on a stand, but in the event that uh, you don't wanna use the stand and you do wanna put it outside, you will uh, need a hook, okay? All right, you're also gonna need your uh, wa a few washers, um, and it's just really gonna depend on how many layers you have on your particular piece. Uh, I've got five here. I don't know if we'll use all those, but we will see. You're gonna need your Phillips head um, screwdriver to tighten uh, the uh, toggle bolt that you're also gonna need for this. You're gonna need your uh, Goo Gone to go ahead and clean your plates after you've um, um, cut the holes in the plates. You're also gonna need your safety wear eyewear and you're also going to need your safety gloves very important when working with the glass you're going to need a towel to clean your plates and i think i've uh, gotten everything listed that you're going to need but remember they're in the description box below okay all right so now let's move on to the cutting part. hey folks okay let's go ahead and get started on uh, cutting this beautiful plate so i'm going to go ahead and bring the camera down you guys to see is how I'm setting this up okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I've got this piece of styrofoam that I'm going to go ahead and put down and I'm also going to stick this piece in right here because this is where the center is going to be where the plate is going to sit all right so then I'm going to take this gorgeous plate and I'm going to turn it over just like that our piece under here and you can see where it's cut through before. So let me go ahead and set that right there in the center. And so now the plate is safe for cutting, all right? It should be right there on that center, okay? All right, then I've got a little bit of water. I'm gonna go ahead and set right there in the center and in this case, I know the center is right there because I've already measured it, but just for the sake of this, let's just measure the inside here. And the inside is right at six and a half, which makes that uh, just over, so right, right there right there in the center, that's absolutely perfect. All right, so now that I've put a little bit of water here, I'm gonna go ahead and take my drill, all right? And just to, to guide everyone on the best way to drill this, all right? This is my diamond tip bit here, and I'm gonna start the drill 
at a 45 degree angle and then I'm going to work this drill straight up into a 90 degree. As this diamond uh, tip bit it is going to grab that glass and then you will easily be able to to guide that in. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and just remember that to take it slow and especially with the, a glass of this size, take it slow and just work it up. The beautiful hole came out just beautiful. Okay, just absolutely amazing. All right, well, let's go ahead and move on to assembly. Hey folks, okay, let's go ahead and get started with assembly of this particular uh, beautiful piece that we just cut. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this down just a little bit with my Goo Gone. All right, and I'm just gonna take my towel and wipe this down so that I get all the residue off of the plate, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and bring the camera down. Uh, so now that I've wiped this down, we're gonna go ahead and get started on assembling this. Here is our beautiful plate we just cut. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to sit this just like this on its side, all right? On it. And this is what I love about having this styrofoam is it does protect the glass as well as um, giving me, me support. Go ahead and put my gloves back on here. One of them I took off. I'm gonna take my flower and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stick that straight through just like that, all right? And I'm gonna take my washer and put that straight through just like that and then go ahead and sit it right there, all right? Then I'm gonna carefully turn this over on its back and I'm gonna go ahead and put another washer down just like that, okay? And stick that just like that, okay? And then the next piece, before I put that on, I need to put a washer there, don't I? All right, so there's my washer. And the next piece is gonna be my flower, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and sit another protective washer, just like that. All right, and then the next thing I need to do is go ahead and install my toggle. All right, take your toggle and just start to thread it. And a lot of times this toggle will be not lined up, you know, right in that little hole there. So just make, turn it back around once you line that up. get it started and you'll feel it once it gets started there we go okay all right so there we go just like that okay and then I'm going to take my orb all right this is a red orb and there's the end of it okay so the toggle has now taken the orb and then I'm going to just carefully turn this over on its side, just like that. And I'm going to grab my Phillips head screwdriver and begin to tighten this toggle in. I believe it's the 12th of March, 2020. Okay, let's turn. 
turn this over for just a second to see how that mounted and it that did amazingly well okay so that looks very tight quite frankly all right so let's now turn this over so that you can see this beautiful piece oh my goodness this has got several uh, different feel the feel is of different textures and colors it's it's just i think it's simply beautiful okay folks all right so let's go ahead and view and discuss this beautiful piece all right so this this particular dish is actually 18 inches wide which is a very substantial uh, piece From the side, you've got one, two, three, and then fourth, four pieces with the orb. And the, just the textures that this piece provides is completely amazing. So you've got a lot of texture again, you've got a lot of volume, you've just got a tremendous uh, piece here. It's wow. So pretty it's so overwhelming to me it's so pretty all right let me go ahead and show you what this looks like on the stand okay now again this piece is very uh, substantial it's 18 inches wide and it probably weighs easily five pounds in, in my opinion all right so let me go ahead and pick this up on the stand let me turn it around just like that you can see you can see the hook where the hook sits so this is a very substantial piece on the stand okay all right now let me take it off the stand and let me go ahead and show you the external a, a showing of this particular flower on this pink polka dotted stand and this particular stand is made out of a uh, conduit and a white chair cover and it sits beautifully uh, snug as a bug in a rug and so i think the pink just accents this pinkalicious flower that's what i'm going to name it the pinkalicious the magnificent pinkalicious flower how about that Hey folks, I just want to uh, thank you all for uh, coming by, stopping by my channel. And if you're new to my channel, uh, please uh, welcome and uh, please hit the like button, the share button and the subscribe button uh, if you've loved what you've seen here today. Uh, I absolutely love uh, creating these beautiful uh, pieces of glass art and uh, I love sharing uh, my creative gifts with the world. So uh, I just wanna thank you all once again here at Zodi C at the Farm. And uh, if you're interested in purchasing any of these items, you can find them at etsy.com uh, slash Zodi C Glass Shop slash Robin Clayton. And I also will list it in the description box uh, below. Questions or concerns, you can email me at Zodi C at the Farm at gmail.com. And uh, my website is coming. I know it's been delayed. I've had a lot going on. Uh, but either way, I just want to wish you a great day and many blessings sent your way. So have a great week, and I hope to see you next week here at Zodi C at the Farm. All right, take care. Bye-bye.